please welcome the President and CEO of Mopar, Pietro Gorlier. Good afternoon, good afternoon, Mopar Nation. Thank you so much. It is great to be here again, right on time at 4.40. 440. Isn't it a great number for the Mopar Nation, 440? Yeah! And I, I love that video. My favorite line in it uh, talks about how Mopar is all in service of those who drive us. It includes everything Mopar is. Whether we are designing a new accessory, we boost performance with a different engine tuning, we train a technician, or we answer a call to help one of our customers. Our purpose is service to our drivers. And we do it with the task to keep on innovating. At Mopar, we are driven to innovate because our customers want performance parts and accessories that add even more excitement to the vehicles that they already love. It all comes down to one word, customization making something unique. And uh, you may have noticed that these days, personalization has reached a whole new level. Everything from ringtones to creating your own music station. And the reason so many people have jumped on the bandwagon is because companies have made customization easier than ever. For Mopar, this year, it's about offering even more personalization and making personalization easy. Beyond just adding exciting new performance parts and accessories, Mopar keeps expanding the custom shops. Mopar custom shops are located nearby all our North American manufacturing facilities. For every brand, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram, SRT, and Fiat, we offer over 50 different packages that go, that go way beyond the usual. These are design studio parts and accessories that match the style, fit, and finish of the vehicle. Plus, all the custom work is done right there by expert installers before the car leaves the factory floor. These custom vehicles are then delivered to the dealer where customers can immediately drive off with the car of their dreams. And to make it even more convenient, custom shop upgrades can be added to vehicle financing, they are listed on the Maroni sticker, and the work is fully covered under the vehicle warranty. With the custom shop, we are expanding the definition of car enthusiast. But every car enthusiast has his or her, I should say, has her or his own specific dreams. And at Mopar, we want to fulfill them all. For those who are looking for a distinctive style, such as, for instance, a, a unique grill, or a chin spoiler, a rear diffuser, and have no parts left when it's back together. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. Otherwise we start back from the beginning. Your neighbors know there's nothing to worry about when your garage lights when your garage lights are on at 4 a.m. You appreciate a part that is made right because you do not enjoy retrofitting a cheap substitute. And while you may or may not have been around when Dodge and Mopar introduced the wall to some legendary hot rods. You know every last detail about those cars, those engines, and those drivers. <coughs> so you may have heard rumors about Mopar and Dodge working together to have some of those components coming back. Well, I'm pleased to introduce someone who shares our passion and is going to tell you how Dodge and Mopar are going to shake things up <coughs> once again. Please welcome my friend, 
Dodge brand president and CEO, Tim Kaniski. for the intro. You know, the truth is, I'd be here roaming these halls even if I didn't have any news to share with you today. Because I have something in common with every one of you here. And that's that I can't leave well enough alone. Now, I know, as the CEO of the Dodge brand, I'm probably supposed to tell you that our cars are all set right out of the box. And they are. They're absolutely amazing performance vehicles. But they're also the perfect platform for the Dodge enthusiasts to make their own. And just like all of you here at SEMA, who insist on making something their own, SEMA is full of people who want to add the signature to everything. And we know that when it comes to modern cars, that's anything but easy. It used to be so much easier. You could just install higher performance components from Mopar or the aftermarket. But in the last few years, it has become so much more difficult because the engine controllers have gotten so sophisticated then in some cases, they wouldn't even recognize the modifications that you did to the car. And that was a serious disappointment for people looking to extract the maximum performance from their vehicles. And besides that, we know at the end of the day, our diehard enthusiasts are looking for solutions straight from the factory. They want factory performance parts from the people that know their vehicles the best. And honestly, we could have done a better job at that. Well, that's all about to change. Because there are enough of us at Dodge and at Mopar that know that there are a lot of you out there. So we're going to help move Dodge forward by going a little throwback. And after 45 years in hibernation, we're bringing back the Scat Pack. And a lot of you probably already know, the Scat Pack was a Dodge enthusiast club. And it was in existence from 1968 to 1971. Now, despite the fact that it was only in existence for four years, people still know it and identify with it to this day. The reason the Scat Pack stood the test of time is because it grew outside of the walls of our corporation. It grew from being just a club into more of a philosophy that bound all Dodge performance enthusiasts together. And that philosophy, that passion for authentic performance, is still deeply embedded in our culture with no signs of letting up. And in fact, just last night at Hart and Huntington here in Vegas, Steve McNaughty embedded himself with some Dodge heritage. Check out his new scat pack. Hey, Steve. I love it. I love it. And I want to give a special thank you to Carrie Hart for helping make it all happen. Thanks, Carrie. It's incredible that he would actually do that. Go up and rub his arm later. It's real. Uh, now, back in the day, when these original enthusiasts, like Steve, were united by this common bond, this bond that was strong enough to get tattooed for, it was a natural evolution for them to, to build this desire to increase the performance of their vehicles. And to answer that need, back in the day, Dodge partnered with Mopar to offer factory performance stage kits because nobody knew how to make a Dodge perform better than the factory. And these performance stage kits became known as the SCAT packages. And now that we are reincarnating the SCAT Pack Club for Dodge, we're going to bring back these performance packages as well, specifically for the current generation Dodge Challenger, Charger, and Dart. And our first rollout will be this spring, 2014, with three stages. First, for our 5.7 liter Hemi Challengers and Chargers, SCAT Package 1 includes a cold air intake, a catback exhaust, and most importantly, a custom performance engine controller to get the maximum power out of all these modifications. Stage two adds a high lift performance camshaft to take advantage of the improved intake and exhaust that we just added in stage one. And again, a recalibrated engine controller to make sure that everything works perfectly together. And finally, for the customer looking to extract the maximum performance from their 5.7 liter Hemi, we're going to offer a stage three kit that adds CNC ported cylinder heads and tubular exhaust headers to take advantage of that high lift camshaft installed in stage two. And again, most importantly, with a recalibrated engine controller to make sure that it's extracting the maximum performance from this combination. Now, in addition to these prepackaged kits, we're also gonna have some a la carte components for suspension and brake tuning to make sure that you have access to all the parts you need for a fully balanced performance vehicle. And we're even in the test phase of an electronic exhaust dump 
with a TA style side exit. So keep your eyes and ears open for that. Now, during the time of the original Scat Pack, one of the best places you could find information on Dodge Performance was the Scat Pack newsletter. So to fully embrace the essence of the original Scat Pack culture, we're bringing back the newsletter. Well, kind of. We're going to be launching a new Dodge Performance Forum, scatpackforums.com. And as the final nod to the original Scat Pack, we're even including a numbered hard badge that, just like the original, is designed to be mounted in the rear quarter window like a badge of armor. Now, these stage kits are an example of us looking back and moving the brand forward at the same time. By restoring an iconic element of our history, we're taking the fear and guesswork out of modifying your current generation Dodge Performance vehicle. Because the performance and horsepower wars are alive and thriving. And after 100 years of Dodge Performance, we don't intend to run from a fight now. And that part is the number two thing that the Dodge enthusiasts have been asking for. The Shaker Hood. Everyone says to me, why don't you bring back the Shaker Hood? It's such a legendary part of the Dodge Muscle Car heritage, and it would look amazing on today's car. The reason we haven't done it yet is for Dodge to do it, it would have to be real. If we were going to bring it to market, it would have to be engine mounted, fully floated, open element, and a true cold air ram induction. But it would still have to pass all current regulations for noise, emissions, and crash testing. The bad news is that would take a long time to figure out how to overcome all those obstacles. The good news is that the hood shape of the Challenger hasn't changed since the launch of the car. So if we were able to figure it out, it would actually fit every current generation Challenger RT and also could fit as a retrofit available as an accessory for Mopar. Well, they did figure it out, and it's going into production this January. So here it is, the 2014 Dodge Challenger RT Shaker. is the return of one of the brand's most coveted names, the Hemi Shaker. And it's a perfect foundation to build our new scat packages off of and end up with something that's truly unique and personal, which is more important than ever today. Because despite the fact that the industry is running red hot at nearly 16 million units annually, there are 40 different brands competing for those customers. That means 40,000 people will walk into a showroom and buy a car today. But first, they have to decide between those 40 different brands. With that many choices out in the marketplace, some brands may try to be everything to everyone. Dodge isn't trying to do that. We exist to bring our customers something different, something uncommon. And we exist to champion the unborn. And the fact that you can walk into a showroom in 2014 and buy a car like this right off the showroom floor is a testament to that. That's also why I love coming to see me because it reminds me of how uncommon a car can be. Whether it's on a boulevard back home or the show floor here in Vegas, nobody is as committed to giving you something one of a kind like Mopar and Dodge. And in recent history, Mopar has become well known for offering some really unique numbered cars. And I think with a platform like this, Pietro could probably come up with something really interesting. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. And of course we can come out with something very interesting. And uh, isn't it a great moment? I mean, having the shaker back uh, in our showroom. So we get to bring back the glory days of those and Mopar with the scat packages. And we can offer them to so many more people in so many more configurations, all with the help and expertise of the Mopar custom shops. So as Tim said, Nobody should drive a car, nobody, that can be confused with another one in the neighborhood. And to show the possibilities that Mopar can bring, we have collected some requests from the web right now. So what do people want for this Challenger Shaker? Well, the first one is coming really from, uh, I would say, the Mopar 10. is the pistol grip shifter, if you remember the Mopar all these side graphics. Maybe he has taken a look at the picture on my, 
my sweatshirt. And uh, last but not least, uh, this is again is a signature element of our limited edition Mopar, custom leather seats with Mopar blue stitching. So I think we have something here. I think we have really something we can work on. And uh, so ladies and gentlemen, the Mopar 14. <laughs> limited edition in showrooms in the spring of 2014. Oh,